Following the two maiden F2 victories for rookies Liam Lawson and Oscar Piastri, we head into the Sunday's race with great anticipation and what an excellent race it has been. With so many great moves and fabulous moments overall, it's really hard to pick a few but these are some of my favourite moments from the feature race in Bahrain. Dan Tictum sends one through the inside of Richard Warshaw as he gets tremendous slipstream heading into turn 4 with his DRS wide open. Tictum makes the move stick and climbs up to 6th place. Meanwhile, Theo Pochier, who is following both of them, takes advantage of the opportunity and overtakes Warshaw to move up to 7th. A fantastic move from the youngest driver on the F2 grid this year. Piastri takes advantage of the yellow flags and dives into pits for fresh tyres. The Australian comes back on the track just seconds before the virtual safety car is deployed. Petakov's car stopped at the end of Main Street as the fire extinguisher blew up and a full safety car is deployed. Meanwhile, Marcus Armstrong takes advantage of the safety car and pits and emerges in the net race lead. Quite a turnaround from where he started in 13th. However, following the end of the safety car period, Piastri gets tremendous slipstream and moves ahead into the race lead. Marcus Armstrong loses two places as both Piastri and Richard Warshaw overtake him. Elsewhere, both Christian Lungard and Felipe Drogovic get 5 second penalties for safety car infringements. Towards the end of the race, Dan Tictum has great pace coming into lap 30. He was close in the previous lap but could not overtake yesterday's sprint race winner Oscar Piastri. But on lap 30, Dan makes the move and lunges ahead of Piastri. Piastri tries to come back but they both touch, leaving Piastri spinning around and out of the race. What looked like a promising podium for Oscar Piastri ends in a retirement. Both Christian Lungard and Felipe Drogovic get a fabulous start and move up to first and second places on soft tyres as they overtake pole sitter Guan Yu Zhou. Race leader Lungard locks up while Drogovic looks to overtake but Christian Lungard hangs on. A safety car is deployed as Nissani is out of the race and stops by the track. Nissani was hit from behind by Robert Schwarzman. Robert was later handed a drive through penalty but he eventually finished in points as he moved up to 7th place by the end of the race. Guan Yu Zhou started on pole position in an all Alpine front row lockout. Fellow Alpine Academy driver Christian Lungard who started alongside Zhou was quicker off the line and Joe was overtaken by both Lungard and Felipe Drogovic as both of them had soft tyre advantage. By lap 8, Joe dropped to 5th place as he was overtaken by Oscar Piastri and Marcus Armstrong. Joe spent most of the race looking after his tyres in the midfield and waiting for an opportunity to go on the attack later on the soft tyres. He eventually changed tyres and after the safety car period, Joe overtakes Piastri on lap 23rd and Richard Warshaw on lap 27 to claim the race lead after working so hard coming up through the field. Although Dan Tictum closed in on Joe by the last lap, he did not have enough to overtake him. So Joe clinches his first ever feature race victory in Formula 2. So overall it has been a great race weekend and a perfect start to the new season. Both Formula 1 and Formula 2 have given us some amazing moments over the weekend and set up some great expectations for the upcoming season. It's been an amazing race weekend for me, both enjoying the races myself and creating content for you guys. So stay tuned and subscribe if you haven't already as lots more interesting content is coming up your way. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. And until then, the force be with you.